Silence. It's our interview. Hi. Hi. Hey. In the house. Yay. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you very I've much. I've good things, seen good things. Big fan right here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Welcome to Washington. Thank you. And to the Voice of America. First of all, uh, for us of all, you introduce yourself to the listeners. Hey, what's mm. happening? My name is Lillian and I'm from Bluesville, Uganda, representing East Africa. Yay, yay. Hey, what's up? This is Jackie from Blue 3, representing Uganda. Hi, my name is Maya from Blue 3, representing Uganda. Um, it's been crazy. We've had ups and downs, but you know... You've been producing heat after heat, by the way. <laughs> that too. We've been that trying too. to... Yeah. It must be a big challenge. It is kind of a, a bit hectic. Let's, let's little talk a little bit about challenges of uh, an artist, young artist like you guys, in, in, an, in an industry that is still just developing. What are some of them? People are wondering, will they take us seriously? Do these girls actually know what they're doing? <laughs> Tell us about yourself. You're the new addition to Blue 3. Yes, I joined the group last year, 2008, mm. uh, after the former member left, Cindy. Mm -hmm. And it's been a very interesting ride. Really? Yes. Now, uh, is there an album in the works? <laughs> She's reaching the ray. Yeah, it's called Be Free. It talks about, you know, whatever goes on in your life, all you have to do is be heart. free let in your go. heart. You know, let go of whatever keeps you, holds you back. You okay. know, think positive, love yourself. Express it's basically yourself, very yeah. uplifting and, you know, genuine, you know, an album that will make you feel good. And, you know, it's... it's is, um, is this your third album? Yes, it is. How do I know that? You're Big fan. fan. You're fan. <laughs> <laughs> Huge fan. Uh, there have been so many changes in the, in the industry. What, what are some of the, what's the advice you would give? as a new member that has uh, just joined this group well, to somebody who's uh, starting out in Uganda or in Africa? Um, first I would say um, hard work pays. Focus on what you want. Um, being a girl is different, you know, a girl group, it's, it's very different. Um, it needs a lot of commitment, a lot of uh, um, hard work, like I was saying, a lot of creativity. And I would advise any girl group Focus on what you want. Focus on the life that you have want. Have a goal. You have a goal. Um, have a description about what you want. Something that will identify you. That you, you know, that will describe you as a, as a, as a group or as a person. Tell, tell us about the consumption. The people that consume your music. Uh, of course, you need that to be able to stay in the business, right? Uh, locally, on the, the local market. Of course, from Uganda, the whole of East Africa. How, how is that? You know, album in terms of album sales, in terms of the pocket. It's very, it's it's it's, it's important that you stay in the business, right? Mm. So you can give us all this good music. How is the consumption? Because I know you guys have to compete with music from here, from the U.S. and other parts of Africa right now. How is consumption for music uh, from from Uganda, local music, and also for for your group? How do you feel? Um. <clears throat> Consumption at home uh, mainly depends on how popular your music is. When it comes to album sales, you know, it doesn't shift mm. so much. So you're going to find um, an artist maybe uh, printing or making about a thousand CDs only. Mm. Or if there are so many, it's probably three or four thousand. And that will probably take a year to sell them, to sell, like to all go out. And that is if you're lucky. Yeah. And of we course, technology is not making it yes. easier now that you have people that are burning your CDs and pirating. Right. Are there any, any, any laws or regulations that have been put in place to deter such type of uh, underhanded businesses <coughs> where you guys are losing all, most of your income to people that are pirating your music? They are trying to, to set something up, but um, you know these things have too many curves and bends. Mm. So we don't really uh, look so forward to it. If it comes up and you know it starts working and it's active, well and good, it will work for us. Is, is there but a movement to? Is there is there some sort of uh, an association of artists in, in Uganda that is trying to fight for? Yeah, yeah. Such there is. Uh, yeah. Laws? There is. Yeah. And you guys are behind it. You understand the importance of of, of such uh, regulations. They try to involve as many musicians as possible because we all after one goal, and that's to you know save our music from piracy. Right. So they try and and get all the musicians involved to you know 
to get but it. It's an excuse because seriously, if you have good music, somehow somebody who buys your album is going to tell another person to buy it and it's going to move. Right. How do you think they buy Beyonce's album and Jay-Z and God knows who? It's through that. Right. It does, but I but mean, in, in general, CD sales in the US have also gone down like over, over 40% now. People usually have like downloads from iTunes and all that, something like that. Uh, okay, is, is your music available on iTunes? If somebody um, wanted to access your music, <coughs> the last album is available on uh, our MySpace. Mm. No, this is this, this this hasn't we been haven't launched yet. we haven't launched this album. It's being launched on the twenty third of October. So yeah, um, the last album is available on our MySpace, which is myspace dot com slash blue three music. Okay. Uh, with a former member, but this is the new blue three, and it's going to be on iTunes very very soon. Oh, so we can yeah. buy copies of that. Yeah. Um, but so, so how do you sustain yourself then? If you only have a thousand CDs <coughs> to sell a year, how do you sustain a group like this? So you well, guys are able to tour and bring some of the good music here to the US. Well, the thing about artists in Uganda, the, the, you know, you make most of your money through your shows that you do. And uh, you can find like an artist has like maybe about five shows in a day. Right. And depending on what kind of artist you are, you maybe you charge say two million per show. That's how that much a demand you That's ten yes. million in a day. So it depends on the kind of artist you are. If you're a good artist, if you're a very popular artist, you can make a lot of money. Right. If you're just starting out, um, you know, it, you don't you don't get that much. You know, you keep struggling to you know to get to somewhere where people actually you know can call you as many times as possible. What is the life expectancy for a Ugandan artist in terms of uh, staying power? Right now in Uganda, there's lots of fresh blood in like, you know, in the music industry. There's uh, Radio and Weasel, there's GNL. There's Blue 3. There's, uh, Blue 3 has always been there. <laughs> these, are new, these, are new, these are new guys. You know, there's a, a new generation of artists that's coming out and they're, and they're coming out with different kinds of music, different from what different Chameleon... Sound. Yeah, a different yeah. sound. It's fresh and people are loving it. So, yeah, they are taking over it has changed especially in Uganda the music has really really changed